Hi, my name's Al Gritton, and I am an artist, a minister, and a college instructor at Crowder. Uh, my preferred medium, I, I really have two. One of them is pastel. Uh, but in recent years, I've really come to value watercolor. I, I love working with watercolor, the almost complete lack of, of, of control. Um, it is just appealing to me. What's on the easel? Um, I don't know that I've ever been diagnosed ADHD, but when it comes to artwork, I'm kind of ADHD. So I actually have several things going at the same time, um, just because I get bored and, and I want to switch from one to the other. So um, I have an oil painting that I just finished. That one is called Dogwoods. It is actually drying. I put the uh, put some varnish on it, and it is actually drying from the varnish and getting ready to go to the printer. And then next to it is a rough for a new pastel piece. That's on that easel. On this easel, I have a pastel piece working. Um, it is roughed in i've got the the first kind of layer of of color on there um i'm calling it erosion and it's a uh, it's a shot of mount rushmore um that i took last summer on the vacation and then back here i have two i can't tell that that one is is kind of a surreal thing I, I just finished. It's watercolor. Um, it's a seashell with a, a foreign sky. I call it dreams of a diff distant shore. And then I just started this watercolor. Um, I call that pieces of April. I usually have a title for mine because it usually relates to whatever I'm trying to convey. Uh, like the seashell back there. Uh, I wanted to do a seashell. I want to do this big concept shell that I have in the house here, um, but I didn't want to just do a seashell. Where, where can I put a seashell? And then I thought, how about on a foreign shore? How about on another planet? So I started to do this seashell on the shore with three moons in the background and all. And so, you know, pretty early on, I had the idea of dream of a diff distant shore. Um, same thing with this one, you know, I wanted to do the, the, uh, the presidents with the, faces worn off um, as a commentary on kind of what's happening in our world politically right now. So um, I had the, the title pretty much before I started. The, the, big, the biggest influence on me has been Georgia O'Keeffe. Um, there's just something about her flowers. And if you look around my studio, you know, I showed you the, the dogwoods and the, the pieces of April back here. But if you look around my studio, there's all kinds of flowers. Um, she, she just, I, I don't know. There was just something about the way she painted flowers that really caught my attention. I never intended to paint flowers. When I was younger, I intended to be a comic book artist. And, uh, Jack Kirby, Jack King Kirby. If you're into comic books, you know the name, Jack King Kirby. I, uh, I was a big comic book fan when I was seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Um, comic books back in those days were seven cents. Um, it was something I could actually afford and I loved to read and, and I loved the artwork. And I just was fascinated by, by Kirby's artwork. Um, now there were other art, comic book artists that, that I enjoyed too, but Kirby was the one that really, really attracted me. I really loved Spider-Man and I used to go buy the comics and then when I read them, I hated to just throw them out. I, I just got so fascinated with the art um, that I sat down with my uh, school tablet and my pencil and I started drawing the comic book characters. Um, and it wasn't too many years after that that I began to look at formal art, um, the masters. And uh, the two there that have really, really impacted me were Van Gogh. I love the way his stuff flows. I'm not really an impressionist, but I love the way his stuff flows. Uh, right now, um, 
you, you can you can look up some of my stuff on www.agritten.com. Um, that's my website. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. Mm -hmm.